the president in his address said that we cannot expect an easy journey. He explained the challenges that lay ahead and put forth the question that was oft repeated in uh, this house. How do we ensure that our island nation remains a shining red dot so that our children and grandchildren can thrive? My short answer to this question is that we have to do whatever it takes. We are holding true to the values that define us as Singaporeans. We have to fiercely protect and preserve the gem of the nation that our forefathers have built over the years. Fight and strive we must, but I believe that it is of utmost importance that we abide by our values and principles. The President in his address said that we must also have a shared understanding of what unites and binds us to one another. So what are some of these values, principles and shared understanding? The members of this House had over the past days alluded to some of these, such as the generosity of spirit, resilience, valuing racial and religious harmony, meritocracy. I believe that in principle, our common understanding on this is clear. We will help those in need. We will not leave anyone behind. We will shape policies and encourage social mobility. The challenge often lies in executing the principles and the policies. As we write the next chapters for the next 50 years, we do need to look at how, as a mature society, we handle diversities of views. I think we can all agree that diversity can be a strength if it can be synergized and used for the good of people. However, it is also a potential divisive factor that can tear our social fabric. So how do we make it our strength and not cause our fall? I feel that the Prime Minister's announcements yesterday regarding increasing the numbers of NCMPs in Parliament and extending powers of NCMPs are concrete steps towards bringing diversity of views in Parliament. I therefore welcome this proposal as it allows for a respectful discourse on real issues that matter to Singaporeans and leads to the shaping of useful and important policies for the people. I also feel that the approach of encouraging diversity of views should be extended to the masses. I laud the government's efforts in creating platforms and engaging various segments of the community, including the young. It is definitely important to engage the youth on matters that are important to them, especially since they will inherit the nation and should have a say in how the society develops. Platforms such as the SG Future engagements are definitely useful to trigger the discourse.